All green lights, everything's a go Money on the table, count it real slow Pull up that rosé, twist up that Cali drove When you hustle hard, no matter what is the info what it do, Ski Sun Doolis? It's your boy Wife Jim Blog TV coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now I know I'm a little late with this video, but I was doing some things last night and I was tired. Anyway, the Chicago Bulls, they closed out a 10-0 run to stun the Miami Heat in game one. Yes, I said it, people. The Miami Heat got stunned in game one. A lot of people was expecting the Miami Heat to basically, you know, come in this game and just probably blow out the Chicago Bulls since the Chicago Bulls was, you know, they don't have all their players. But like I told people, when you have a team who's been constantly playing basketball, they're going to have the advantage at some point. But then when you have a team who's been out for the longest, it's going to be a disadvantage for them. But no excuses for the simple fact that, you know, this team is young, the Miami Heat. I mean, they're not old, old like people think they are. I mean, what, 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 Ray Allen... Jawan Howard, but he don't even play, so he don't even fucking matter. But um, yeah, man, the Heat. I, I, I was kind of shocked, you know, after LeBron James received a trophy. You know, I just knew that you know this team was going to be energized and ready and just try to fight. But this is the playoffs, and playoffs are kind of tough. The Chicago Bulls they play the Miami Heat tough, like I always said. And now that the Chicago Bulls collectively, um, if in total of games that they have played, they have. Three, dig three games to two up on the Miami Heat. Now, we know the uh, Chicago Bulls, they snapped their 27-game um, winning streak. So, hey, we know the Bulls can play. Now, Nate Robinson, <laughs> what can you say about this man, Nate Robinson, man? This is a dude who was, you know, that I consider one of the best um, um, little men shooting guards to come off the bench or point guards, whatever you want to call them. You know, I've been a Nate Robinson fan for the longest. I was actually a Nate Robinson fan when he was playing college football at Washington. Cornerback. Yes. Yes. Yeah, y'all probably didn't even know that he played football, college football. Could have been in the league. But, um, you know, after Nate Robinson was spitting up blood pretty much in the first half, he delivered some of the some of the, the, some of the best plays of the night, you know, in the final moments of the game. Um, Hey, he scored 27 points. Jimmy Butler added 21 points and a career high time, 14 rebounds as the Bulls beat the Miami Heat 93 to 86. Um, hey, um, they just found ways to win. The Chicago Bulls found ways to win, you know, um, and they just. They just, they had heart, man. I keep telling people they got heart, man. They, they're not going to give up. Now, I know a lot of people saying, oh, this is probably the only game they win. I, I don't think so. I think it's going to be a, a good series. You know, I don't think the Miami, well, they can't sweep them now, but yeah. <laughs> but um, at the seven point um, deficit midway through the fourth, wasn't enough um, to do them the Bulls, who finished the game on a 10 0 run in the final one minute and 59 seconds. And to think the Bulls weren't anywhere near full strength, we already know Kurt Heinrich was out and then Luau Day was out. You know, they, you know, they just wasn't going to look like they was going to be the team that was going to win, you know, at least game one. You know, but uh, it is what it is, man. They won. Um, also, you know, the Miami Heat, they had some struggles. Uh, LeBron James, he only scored two points in the first half. Then he ended up doing some things in the second half. He ended with 28, uh, 24 points, um, eight rebounds, and seven assists. And Dwayne Wade, <laughs> hey, I think Dwayne Wade is still hurt. He only had 14 points. Um, did anybody let him know it was the playoffs? You know? But he's going to have to try to fight through his knee injury because I feel like he's still hurt. And um, them other guys just going to have to step up and just continue to play if the Miami Heat want to have a chance to, to move on, you know. Um, you know, he shoot, Dwayne Wade shot 40% from the floor. Or should I say, I think the Heat shot 40% from the floor and they were out-rebounded 46-32. to 32. Um, You know, the uh, you know, Miami Heat, they was outscored 35 to 24 in the fourth, you know, and hey, what can I say, man? The Miami Heat, I mean, the Chicago Bulls, they just came to play. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, I was thinking about this, you know, last couple of stretches down the court, you know, LeBron James, I felt like I don't think he should have took uh, shot the three. Was it the three that he airballed, or was it the two pointer? I think it was a two pointer, the three point shot that he had airballed. You know, people was clowning him on Twitter about that, blase, blase. And then on that last possession, I feel like I felt like he should have kicked it out to either Ray Allen or somebody, you know, one of the better three point shooters on the team. But you know, he didn't do it. You know, 
hey, it is what it is. So the Miami Heat, they lose game one, 93 to 86, and we shall see what adjustments they make for game two. Not saying the series is over, but people better realize the Chicago Bulls is coming to play. They're not no punks. They're not they're not soft. Um, they play great defense. They even match buckets with um, the Miami Heat. So it's like when you play good defense, you can stop pretty much. You can slow down pretty much any team. I mean, Jimmy Butler played LeBron James well. He got up in him. He was kind of physical with him. And that's what you got to do to try to slow down LeBron James. And as far as D-Wade, um, like I said, I don't know what's going on with him. But if he's going to be banged up in this series, Hey, maybe a shocking upset. You never know. Now, as far as people talking about Derrick Rose coming back and stuff like that, I don't think Derrick Rose is going to come back. Um, he just he just has he just doesn't have that mental mind frame yet. Joe Keem Noah um, backed him up by saying some stuff at the press conference, you know, because that's his teammate. That's what he's supposed to do. But um, yeah, man. Hey, don't sleep on Nate Robinson, man. Them boys and the Bulls, man. I don't know what's going to happen game two. But if they come out and play like this again, man, it's going to be some trouble for the Miami Heat. But anyway, you tell me what you thought about the video. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook. Check out my previous videos. Comment, subscribe, favorite. Man, y'all know what to do. Deuces.